वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल माई नेम इज़ डॉक्टर दीक्षा एंड टूडेज वीडियो इज़ अबाउट द इम्पॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन दैट पीपल आस्क मी इन माई डी एम्स रिलेटेड टू ए एम सी एम सी क्यू एग्जाम दैट इंक्लूड एग्जाम प्रपरेशन एपिक अकाउंट ए एम सी पोर्टफोलियो एंड हु कैन अप्लाई फॉर दिस एग्जाम दिस इंक्लूड क्वेश्चन लाइक हाउ टू प्रिपेयर फॉर ए एम सी एम सी क्यू एग्जाम how much time does epic process takes can we email them after sending our credentials for verification what are the qualification you can upload for verification along with checking the medical uh, your medical school in world dictionary of medical schools uh, do you need to have any specific percentage in your mbbs or any ielts exam score to get this exam so if you already know answers to all these question you can skip this video because it will save your time and time is very 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 important for this exam right so yeah i will i'm going to read everything out from my laptop because you know i just can't remember all things and i don't want to miss on anything okay so uh starting with our first question that is how to prepare for amc mcq exam i must say it is the most 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 commonly asked question from me <laughs> from you guys sorry from you guys um uh, that i get in my dms uh, although i have made a full video on this but maybe i think i need to little more talk about and in an elaborated way because there are so many videos on internet that are telling you the same things that these are the recommended books these are the question banks and now you can start your preparation but i know it's very confusing because every one is just sending you so many study materials but no one is actually talking about how you can use them right so i have discovered two beneficial ways that you can use or that may work for you so you can definitely try in my suggestion please do watch two videos before uh, this one if you want to have a better understanding uh, on this question like how you can prepare for the exam the first one is how to prepare for amc mcq exam this will give you an overview and the second one is uh, m plus x or a medix which one to choose you will find these videos in my amc playlist okay now what are the different ways you can start your preparation there are two beneficial ways uh, you can use according to your needs and the kind of time you have so first one is for people who have less time or who are working let's say they have 3 to 6 months or they are working along with pre their preparation okay so um, second one is for people who have more time that means let's say they have more than 6 months like 6 to 8 months or more than 6 months okay now starting with the first one that is for people who have less time uh, like 3 to 4 months or doing job along with the preparation for the exam so what you can do start with the handbook first okay handbook is very 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 important just read it like a novel and then for the second time read it with a little more concentration handbook is important because it is going to give you an overview about the question that are there in the exam okay so it is very very important to read handbook first okay if you wish you can buy a subscription or any question bank and start solving questions from them but that is totally your choice if you want to buy any subscription or not and uh, i can only recommend m plus x or a medix because i haven't used any other question bank but if you will ask me about any other question bank i can search or i can ask other people but i still recommend just go with one of these okay these are sufficient and now the question is if you will not buy any question bank then from where you can practice question so the answer is you can use handbook or use any active group on facebook on whatsapp on telegram so by active group i means the group uh, in which people actually send question or discuss solutions okay 
and because that is what is important now uh, along with this what are the other things that are important reading topic topics it is very important that you must read full topic you just can't keep on cramming mcqs and expect that things will go smooth in exam because this is not how it works okay you always know the core of the topics because their guidelines very important and the the, the the important thing is the exact same questions will be there in the exam sometimes but the you know the uh, the options are very different so it's sometimes very uh, confusing that what is it um i have also uploaded videos in which i have uh, uploaded important topics that you can study for this exam you can watch them and write it down somewhere along with doing the questions from the question bank or from the study groups whatever you choose uh, if you have your own collection of questions then don't waste your time on watching those videos because time is very important okay so i will again say that you must must read full topics along with the you know uh, question bank questions now from where you can read those topics uh you can use books like john mutham rscgp book for guidelines also known as red book handbook blue book that is very important anthropology of medical condition you can use Kaplan notes. You can use up to date. You can use med scraps. So you can use these uh, resources to read those topics. Okay. And guys, everything is uh, uh, available online. So you need not to buy these books because these are also very expensive. You so you can just download these PDFs online and you can start your preparation. Now. The next step is reading recalls. If you have subscription of M Plus X, then you will find recalls there. Otherwise, you can find them online too, like on Facebook, Telegram, WhatsApp groups. Okay. Uh, as you guys have less time, but you still need to give at least mocks, two to three mocks. Okay. So, uh, so that you know how to manage the pressure and the time in the exam. according to me it is very important okay second one uh, is for people who have at least 6 to 8 months or more time that means you have plenty of time right uh, first start with the handbook as same as the people who have less time then i suggest you to read guideline books from a to z and maximum of john mutan okay uh, along with the you know question from the question bank or from the study group according to you okay uh also find people online from a study group according to the date you have reserved for your exam and discuss topics every two times a week or once a week totally your choice um then last is give online mock test once a week uh, once a month or twice a month because it is going to help you in exam because you will uh, get familiar with the pattern so you will not going to freak out in exam okay it is very very important to give your mock test at least one two or three mock tests before your exam it is going to help you a lot in exam now the important point i, I want to say that I agree the whole exam is very confusing it's very tiring but the end result will be very satisfying so keep on trying uh, no matter you have less time or you have no uh, more time the only difference it will make if you have less time you will study smart and important so that you cover more in less duration if you have more time that means studying with more chill and reading each and every detail as much as uh, you know times you want and it will it is not like if you have less time you cannot clear this exam now moving on to the next question that include questions about epic account and amc portfolio which includes 
फर्स्ट वन इज हाउ मच टाइम इट टेक्स फॉर एपिक अकाउंट प्रोसेस फर्स्ट लेट मी क्लैरिफाई एपिक एंड ए एम सी दो दीज बोथ आर डिफरेंट बॉडीज सो इफ यू हैव एनी क्वारी यू कैन ई मेल और यू कैन आस्क एपिक ओके हाउ मच टाइम द एपिक प्रोसेस टेक्स इट टेक्स फाइव टू सेवन वर्किंग डेज बट If there is any unusual circumstances, it will take more time, and it will uh, the verification never expires. Okay, it's for lifetime. Next question is: Can we email them after sending our credentials for verification? Yes, you can. But sometimes it's not epic; it's your university due to which delay is there. So, in my suggestion, you can you if there is any delay in the process. always contact your university along with emailing epic next is what are the qualifications you can upload for verification first is final medical diploma that is issued by your university and if you don't have that then you can upload any other alternative medical diploma issued by your university that shows that you have completed your examination and your internship period and you are eligible for the final medical diploma degree and even if you don't have that you can uh, upload final medical school transcript that include your mark sheets of all subjects now moving on to the last uh, question for this video that is along with checking your college in the world dictionary of medical school do you need to have any specific percentage or any ielts uh, exam score to give this exam and the answer is no there is no specific percentage required no english proficiency exam uh, is required to give amc mcq exam part 1 um ielts score is required before applying for internship program so this is it for my today's video if you like the content i share then do like share and subscribe to my channel and if you have better solution for these uh, question you can comment below or you can uh, text me on my instagram id and uh, keep studying never give up thanks for watching